Hey everybody, this is Harry with your uh, weekly late uh, A to Z um, um, offering. And we, they've done the letter D, Mike, Ian, and James already did theirs, of course. Uh, making Mike look good. Um, but Saturday seems to be the only day I can have a chance to do these things um, right after work. Um, I, if you don't know, I have a house full of people, uh, kids, and there's no quiet whatsoever except for late at night. So I have to do them here in the car after work and usually at the cemetery because nobody bothers me here in my boat. But anyways, I wanted to talk about a movie I watched about a week or so ago called Days of Heaven, a Terrence Malick film. I've been starting to get into his films lately. Um, just because I heard other people talking about uh, Badlands and a few other films. And then I looked up his filmography and found out that uh, he has not, over the course of the years, I think Badlands was his first movie back in 1973. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of movies uh, that he's made. So I figured, okay, well, I got a Netflix account. Uh, I can rent movies, uh, you know, DVDs and Blu-rays from them. So I figured I'd, I'd kind of catch up and watch some of his films um, because I didn't enjoy uh, Badlands. Uh, Days of, of uh, Heaven is the second film and it came out in 1978 and uh, and it was a decent film. I, I, I enjoyed the film but it wasn't as great or good as, as Badlands to me. I mean, it was shot beautifully. It was a beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, cinematography in the film, um, which seems to be uh, something Terrence Malick uh, paints his movies with, was, is, it paints his uh, films with, uh, the, the scenery that's around him. Um, a lot of open spaces, like in Badlands, there's a lot of open spaces. Um, storms coming in and such, and then the same thing here at Days of Heaven. If you're not familiar with it, Days of Heaven stars uh, Richard Gere, uh, Brooke Adams, uh, Sam Shepard, and Linda Mance. And it was uh, about a young man, uh, Richard Gere named Bill, and his uh, girlfriend, but uh, she is known as the sister. But they're, they're trying to play off as uh, brother and sister when they're actually romantically involved. Um, and what happened is, is uh, he's on the run, Bill's on the run, and uh, because he murdered a man at the beginning of the movie, um, he worked at a, uh, I want to say a steel mill, and um, and he hit a man over the head with a shovel and and killed him. So he was on the run, and so the next thing you see him on a train, on top of a train, uh, which is supposed to be uh, Texas, the plains of Texas. And, but it was filmed in Canada. Uh, anyways, you see them on there, and they're working the hay fields and such like that for this man uh, played by Sam Shepard is known. And the credits is The Farmer. <clears throat> the, um, I suck at telling these things. So anyways, um, so he's working in the fields. Bill kind of has, has a bad attitude uh, towards things. Um, they try to hide their romance, um, and people are talking about them thinking that there's more to it than, you know, brother and sister, or, you know, it's, or if it's kind of a sick thing. So, and this goes through the film until uh, they come up with a plan to, um, the farmer likes his sister, like I said, uh, Abby, um, played by Brooke Adams, um, uh, and they wind up getting married in the in the movie while she's still having something to do with Richard Gere and playing him off as the brother. He gets to get in the family to get the money. And and there's a little girl involved, her sister, uh, uh, a girl named uh, Linda, played by Linda Manns. Uh, she narrates through the film and tells kind of the story of it. And I was reading a little bit on Wikipedia about it it was that he had a hard time, and this is why I, I don't care for the film, 
as much as I do Badlands because the storyline kind of it seemed to jump a little bit or there was something missing from it um, and that's why the Linda had narrated through the film to kind of fill in the gaps um, that Terrence Malick couldn't put together during editing and um, so she kind of explained some of the things that was going on it, like I said, the, the thing to carry this for me was the cinematography. I love photography, and uh, I love landscapes, and, and, and if it's photographed well, uh, I like a good film that's, you know, like that. Uh, that's why I like a lot of John Ford films when he goes to Monument Valley, like The Searchers, um, and, and such. I just love the scenery and how it's photographed and how majestic it looks. Um, looking at my notes here uh, <clears throat> cinematography by Nestor Alamanaris I, I can't pronounce it and Hasker Wheeler and they were uh, won the best picture or Academy the Oscar for best cinematography that year and Terrence Malick uh, won best director at the Cannes Film Festival <clears throat> there's a lot let's go back to the storyline a little bit here so the uh, Sam Shepard, like I told you, I suck at these. So anyway, Sam Shepard um, finds out because he was warned that he thought that he was told that there was more to it than them being brother and sister, that there was a romance involved. And um, he didn't believe that and until he saw it with his own eyes. And then he confronted them and and that was well the first day anyways the first time it happened uh, when they thought there was an inkling of it happening Richard Gear left and um, he uh, he left and went on and did his own thing flew off on some couple of biplanes and then uh, he come back later and it was it was it was just uh, I found out they had found it. He had found out by watching him out the field. I don't want to give too much away you know, um, about it. But anyways, that happens. The great scene in here, though, for me, the standout scene was the uh, the um, the Beatles, not the band, but the the Bugs, the Grasshoppers scene where they're trying to kill. Grasshoppers start showing up and stuff, and how they. Uh, we're ruining the crops and how they're going to start ruining the crops and they start burning them and causes a big fire uh, throughout the place. So, anyways, they, I'm, it's a recommended you watch it. It's an essential thing to watch. Um, Terrence Malick, I'm starting to like him a little bit more. Uh, well, more uh, after Badlands. Uh, I'm only two films in. Uh, the next one will be The Thin Red Line. It will be the next one I'll be watching. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, if you have not ca caught this film, uh, it's on Criterion, just like Badlands, and uh, it'd be a great uh, film to, uh, to watch with the family, I think. <laughs> Maybe not so much with the kids, but anyways, with the wife. Um, and like I said, it's not, uh, I like Badlands better than this one because of the story being disjointed, just like this stupid uh, review or talk about the film. Um, the only other thing I wanted to say is the music was by Ennio Marconi. Wonderful score and beautiful cinematography. Just lacks, the film just lacks in me. It seemed a little bit disjointed. So anyways, that's my contribution to the letter D. This is why I only have 20 subscribers. So thank you for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up, comment. I love all the comments. Um, and talk to you later. Bye.